Could this be the doll that does it all for vocal production? What's up y'all, my name is Forrest Whitehead. I show songwriters at home how to produce pro quality records from your laptop computer. Today I got five reasons why I think Studio One 5 is the best doll for vocal production. By the end of this video, I'll tell you about all the other dolls that I've worked in before making the decision that Studio One 5 is the best for vocal production. Check this out. All right, the cool thing about tracking your vocals in Studio One 5 is on your keyboard here, if you have the longer keyboard, it has the star, the minus, and the plus. And what this does is you can basically navigate your session a lot more easily. You can see the playhead moving on this minus and plus. Shout out to Joe Gilder. I learned this from one of your videos. And it changed my workflow with the way that I'm tracking vocals. So how does it change my workflow? Well, if you can change the playhead where it's at while you're recording, I can press this star to start recording. And if in the middle of my take, I want to go back, I press the star again, it can run my playhead back. Start recording. And then I can record over what I just did. Instead of having to stop or do anything with one hand here, I can press star, stop, and run it back. Or if I want to run somewhere further ahead, ahead in the song, like the chorus, now I can press the star, continue recording, hit the star again, it stops, the minus runs the playhead back, and this is so awesome because you can just continue to get each take after take however many times you need and never stop your workflow. The music never stops, it just keeps going, it keeps you in the groove. And I love being able to track vocals with this workflow. And after you track your vocals and you have multiple takes of what you want, the second thing that I think is cool about working in Studio One is the way it comps. It's very similar to Logic. You can just basically drag and it automatically puts that selection up to the comp for you. So you noticed that I took a couple takes there. I can decide which takes that I want and say that I have this comp and I'm happy with it, but I want it in a different spot of the song. Well, these are called layers on your vocal comp. In Studio One, it says expand layers and that will show all of the vocal comps that you've done. If I close my expand layers, what's cool about this, I can take this and fly at a different spot of the song and guess what? Whenever I expand my layers, the layers come with it. So if you're working in Pro Tools where you have a lot of playlists, it's hard to copy and paste all that audio over sometimes. So I love the way Studio One gives you layers and no matter where you fly your main comp, all the layers beneath it will be there as well. The third reason why I think Studio One 5 is awesome for tracking vocals is because once you have your vocal comp done, you can select it, select Command M, and Melodyn is built in to Studio One 5. You guys that have followed me know that I've used Melodyn in Logic. I've used it in Pro Tools where you have to even do the transfer and that just takes so much time. It's so awesome to be able to select a part that you want to change the tuning, select the region, select Command M, and then boom, it imports your Melodyne. And what's so cool about that is it's kind of always running in the background. It's not there until you select a region and do Command M, but then it appears and allows you to make changes. So if you love Melodyne like I do, it makes complete sense that they would do that and integrate it fully with Studio One 5. I think that's amazing. And another cool thing that you could do, I wanted to show you guys, that you can build harmonies with Melodyne so much easier whenever you're in Studio One 5. The reason being, I just took this section of this lead vocal and I'll play it raw for you here. For the first time. And I built this harmony with Melodyne by just duplicating the track and adjusting some of the notes. Here's what it sounds like. In love for the first time. So in context with what's going on, check this out. In love for the first time. So we have real lower harm sung underneath that. 
but I wanted that extra high harm. And it's so easy to do this with Melodyne, even though it may be harder to sing. Basically what I did is I came over here, I duplicate my track, I take the section that I want, I hold Option and drag. Now I select this track, I select Command M, and then boom, it automatically shows up and I can listen and adjust these notes and build a harmony. You can change where these notes are falling off. And if you listen to it, and it sounds computerized in a way if you just solo it out, but in context with this mix, Love for the first time. So that's a way that you can quickly build out vocal harmonies with Melodyne, just by duplicating the track, changing the notes, usually it's that high third above, you can manipulate the notes within Melodyne to reach the harm that you want. And last but not least, what I love about Studio One 5 is amazing stock plugins. I've worked in Logic for years, I've loved their stock plugins, Studio Ones may even be better. On this main vocal chain, I just have this compressor, and I also have the Pro EQ, and then probably my favorite, I also have this fat channel. Here's what it sounds like. Parking up on windows in an expedition, turning up remix to ignition, styrofoam cup in the console mix, whiskey and seven up. I like this fat channel plugin because it pretty much gives you a gate, a compressor, an equalizer, and a limiter all in one plug. So you can bet this fat channel plug will pretty much work on any signal chain that you're throwing at it. And I love that the way they have everything arranged. Those of y'all that follow me know that I love to layer and stack compressors. So I just have a little bit of compression going to this main compressor and then it hits this fat channel. Think about you sometimes, baby, when I do, I think about the time I wear when and now we spent those Friday nights. Vocal Fucking dubs. up on windows in an expedition, turning up remix to ignition, styrofoam cup and the And you can see there's not a whole lot of compression going on, up. but it's the layers and the stacks in the dash that make this type of compression work. And nine times out of 10, I'm mixing to a vocal bus. I'll show you what's on my, my vocal bus right here. In reverse order, we have another fat channel and another compressor. So this is what these guys look like on my vocal bus. And so what's cool about this fat channel, you can select the parameters that you want turned on. If you just want the compression, just want the equalizer, it's just an all-in-one plug-in that really takes care of a lot. You missed two ignition, styrofoam cup in the console mix with a little bit of compression on that fat channel, and then ending the vocal chain with Locking this up on windows in an little bit of compression, turning up remix to like barely two or three dB. So, all in all, I've got all Studio One stock plug-ins on this vocal chain. And I think it cuts pretty good in the mix. I'll play you a piece of this chorus. You guys can let me know what you think. We were telling our secrets in the dashboard light. Both of our chains in the floorboard high. And somewhere we dead and the cops wouldn't find us falling in love for the first time. Yeah, we had a make we had a good September came in second. Between being able to track your vocal without having to stop your session using these scrub tools, comping with layers that immediately fly wherever you fly it in the session, the Melodyne integration, if you're a Melodyne user, Studio One 5 is built for you. Being able to build harmonies with the Melodyne integration is so easy. You guys know that I love great sounding stock plugins. All of that can be found here in Studio One 5. That's why I think it is the best DAW for producing vocals. Over my career here in Nashville, I've worked extensively in Pro Tools and Logic. I used to bounce between those two programs because I preferred the way Pro Tools edits audio. But now with Studio One 5, I can get everything I need done in one DAW. If you're thinking about giving Studio One 5 a try, I definitely think you'll dig it. Until next time, hit the like and subscribe. Let me know what kind of video that you want me to make and I will try to get it done just for you. We'll see you guys next time.